I know. Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And today, Sunday, the, what is the date? The 15th? 15th, middle of the month. I yes. have Andre with me, and he was just talking about the full moon. Keep going about what you were saying about the full moon. Yeah, the full moon is, is uh, it's just building now. Right now, the moon is in Aquarius. By tomorrow, it's Pisces. And then Tuesday, it reaches the late Pisces degrees and makes the full moon to the sun. Uh, but it's also an eclipse, and it's because the ecl a lunar eclipse happens when it's on a full moon because you have to block the moon. You know, the Earth has to get in front of the moon so you don't see it. Solar eclipses is when new moons happen because then the sun gets blocked. So this one is a lunar eclipse, and it's kind of a pile on to all the other things that are happening in Trump's chart because Trump has a lot of activity from three or four things. And I talked about it in yesterday's video, Venus, Sun, Mars, Black Moon, you know, and this is why, in part, why he's, well, that and the fact that he got his clock cleaned at the debate, but, you know, that set him off. But then astrologically, it's this thing where he's just, you know, going off completely, you know, losing his mind, the things that he's saying on, uh, on Truth Social and the things that he's doing. He's now, he and JD are fully committed to the, uh, to the cats and dogs and, you know, and all of that. Oh, my so. God. And that's a total fraud. Even the woman that started it came on a show and said she was really sorry she started it. It was a fraud. It was fake. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, though, the only problem, if you think about what's happening, this is where Trump is a really clever racist, you know, a really clever, clever, clever evil person because he knows... You know, he, he's not going to tell you, oh, there's this thing happening in Philadelphia. That's not fertile ground. He goes and he picks a town that he knows is more red than blue. So then, even if there are a lot of people, as there are, because they're saying, hey, we, you know, the immigrants, they're not at fault, and they're going to their businesses, from what I hear, and they're trying to do some damage control, there are going to be a lot of Trumpers in a town like that. So he gambles that you know, the whole, because really, what would really, what really fix them would be if the whole town, you know, held a big town meeting and said, this is BS. Well, a lot happen. of the people there are bringing the Asians in for meals at their restaurants and. Yeah, yeah. And but they it, like them because they came in to work. They, they're the ones that asked them to come. It's true. It's true. But because they, the country's so divided right now and he continues to have his base following him the obvious thing for him to do is he's going to pick a place where he's got a lot of support, obviously, because he knows the odds are that he'll get enough, you know, backing, or at but least... he looked ridiculous when he said oh. they're, eating the they're eating the pets, they're eating the dogs, and with Kamala just, like, looking at him with her hand in her, it was, like, so outrageous. He was a laughing stock, and you know he can't stand to be laughed at. Yeah, yeah, no, and 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 uh, the thing about when you've got multiple cycles circulating, and, and there are, I mean, he's got a lot happening. I mean, whenever the chart is really active, you can try things, but they can blow up on you, right? And he's asking for it because he's going to places that are uh, dangerous. You know, when you do things like this, he's lying. He's got he's got that woman to that Laura Loomer that. Yeah, crazy. did you find out her sign? All I know is that she's Gemini like him. You know, the number of Geminis, it's unbelievable. The, 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 again, if you're Gemini out there, please don't send me questions. about <laughs> This applies to you. You can be the high end or the low end of a sign. With Trump, it's pretty easy to understand. Just think of everything at the bottom of the barrel. That's Trump. And this woman is right up there or even worse, if it's possible to be worse, because she's a 9-11 truther. You know, she's... Called, She's been committed a couple of times by her parents. Well, not surprised. I mean, she she's called Kamala the horrific names. I mean, this is brutal, totally brutal. Yeah, and there was a rumor going around she wasn't allowed near Trump's plane because she bragged to everybody about how he loved her, BJ's best. And I kind of, you know, I, I thought, I don't know if that's true. I don't know why she would yell that out loud. And then uh, she did a video and she said, no, it's not true. She said, the one who's famous for her BJ's is Kamala. Yeah, sure, 
sure thing, sure thing. But I mean, the bottom line is between her and that other dude that was at Bedminster, that guy, his name is Cusinelli, and he looks like, I mean, he's got a Hitler mustache. He looks like a, he looks like, like a, a Nazi. little Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. And he was there. And so he's surrounding himself. And I think, I think in part, you know, Trump is like a child. He's like an undeveloped human being who never grew up. And a lot of what he does is insecurity. So especially if you kick his butt and he knows what happened on that debate, he knows that that's why he went straight to the spin room, you know, to say things like, Oh, I won 89 to 12, but 62 to, he just pulls, pulls stuff out of his rear end. Oh, rabbit out of his ass. Yeah, exactly. He just throws things out there, but there it's a response to the fact that he's just screwed up. He feels humiliated and he has to say the opposite immediately. Right. So then, but then on top of that, he wants people around him who say, Oh, Mr. Trump, you're amazing. You're wonderful. By the way, this woman, Laura Loomer, I'm starting to wonder where Melania is because some of the pictures they're putting on TV, I thought, gee, that looks a little too friendly. I there, think Donald. she she just over affectionate with him and he likes it. Yeah, but you know that doesn't look good. You're sitting well, there. You're... Not and not with the red hats either because they think he should be tried and true to his wife. I don't know. All I know is that I mean, it's bizarro. This is bizarro stuff. But again, though, the thing is with him, like what Kamala did to him in the debate, her skill was you know, throw things out there and get them to respond. What you never do in a debate, you never do that. He would insult her. She would never follow up on his insults, but he was always doing it. So now that. Yeah. you saw on TV, he was doing a press conference, which is what, whatever that is that he does. But they drew him in. He was going to talk about something, immigration, whatever. Instead, he spent the whole time explaining who Laura Loomer is. You know, because they, they, yeah, the reporters say, who's this woman? And he's saying, oh, well, she's her own person. She's a free spirit. So, I mean, politically, he's in a in a struggle, obviously, because, and he's creating it himself. He's just, you know, in the end, he's not a good politician. He's he's good in, a, in the sense of creating a movement with a large group of people. But he's almost in a way, when you think about it, people always talk about how he's such a lucky man. To me... He's like the definition of bad luck because he, he succeeds only so much and he can't get there. He's always short of the of the, you know, of the outcome. And he's done it again because he's like the person in school who couldn't quite get, you know, in, I, I don't know how they mark in the U.S. I, I did high school in Canada and the idea was a pass was 50 percent. So you don't want to get 45. That's a fail. That's, you know, you, you have to repeat the course. He, he can't get out of the 40s, right? So yeah. he's got a lot of popularity, but he is, you know, derided, disdained by more people than that, right? And, he, and he's stuck in that mode uh, constantly. So. Well, even Marjorie Taylor Greene is trying to take the high road, if you can believe that. Because she made a comment about uh, uh, India, about, oh, the White House will smell like curry and uh, the call center will be based in India. All yeah, these derogative but, comments, and Marjorie Taylor Greene said enough of that. Marjorie you know, Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene. The only thing with Marjorie Taylor Greene, though, is that the problem she has is that when you hang around people like this, and she does, right? The problem is everyone is, uh, you know, they use the torch, burn it all to the ground, right? So she attacked. She said this about this woman, and this woman put out a text saying, "Hey." You were texting me, asking me to look for dirt on Kevin McCarthy to find out who we are sleeping with, right? Did you read that? No. So then, yeah. So I mean, this is the thing, right? When oh you pick, my God! No, I didn't. I yeah. Didn't so hear that. so it's like you you started to think, okay, like who's the honest person here? They're both equally bad. You you realize that the main reason Mar MTG is upset is because she's not on the plane with Trump, right? Yeah. She's yeah. lost her her also, thing. Also, I heard she threatened Marjorie Taylor Greene that I know stuff about you you don't want me to announce. Well, she announced some of it because that came out. <laughs> well, she also told Lindsey Graham, "It's okay, you're gay." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I like exactly. men too, she said. And you know who gave her permission to do that was Trump. But, but everybody knows he's gay. There's nothing shameful about that. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, of course. Well, but the thing is that is that there's nothing shameful except for the fact that because uh, Lindsay doesn't announce it. 
Yeah, so well, then, he's from the old school. My uncle, right? And my so dad then that 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 turns it into a yeah, exactly. That that's the whole. And you know, Lindsay, right now, he his chart, he's got, especially, between September and December, the Pluto backtracked into Capricorn for its last little bit in Capricorn. Then it's going to go into Aquarius till twenty forty two, whatever. But at the end of Capricorn, it's not good for Lindsay because he's got planets at the end of of cancer so then that opposes and when you think someone is ex exposing a dark secret about you pluto is one of the planets you know that yeah and so. also lindsey graham he was forced to rah rah for trump i, I don't know if it was russia that came in a lot of these guys that uh, Lin, uh liz cheney said had she was approached by many republicans had the vote to impeach been secret, they would have voted to impeach Trump, but they couldn't do it because it was they. He could see who said impeach him. Well, you know that that might be a reform that should be made because it should be because, secret. You know because frankly, when you think about, you know the, the 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 Trump effect is such that this should be obvious, right? You're running a democracy that's been around many years. One of the dangers is you get a thug like this who incites violence. And do you blame a Republican, whoever in Wyoming, he's worried about being shot, you know, having his family killed. But if he didn't have to reveal it, you know, it would be, then they would have to, they would have to get into innuendo, but you could deny it, you know, and so forth. So yeah, uh, for sure, that was a major problem because it was pretty close. You know, they, they needed, I think, something like nine more votes in a, in a, in a Yeah, but they would have had it if they could have kept it secret. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm saying by close, there were about 45 that or 40 that yeah. voted yes. You would have found another 10 in there. You know, and you sure. were talking before we went live about you had looked at JFK's chart. Apparently there was some shooting at the, at the golf course where Trump is. Oh, you mean, you mean, uh, not, not, J you mean JFK or RFK? Who are we talking about? Well, you about? were looking at JFK because there is some shooting and I, I'll be honest with you, someone's saying, but you notice how they're not presenting any evidence. They're just saying there was a shooting. Oh, JFK. And then okay. you said you happened to look at JFK. Yeah. Okay. So I actually, I've been looking at all the, all the Assessment. FKs, like, uh, I looked at RFK senior this the father of the current strange person that is running the, the man by the way he is really strange he was on this he was on this uh podcast with pierce morgan and he's talking to him and you know who carried this is the bulwark tim miller and those guys and, yeah. and sykes and he's talking to pierce morgan and all of a sudden you hear this duck quacking from from underneath his feet you hear quack 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 and it's, and they they were both laughing like the two in the podcast revealing this they said oh it's because his phone he must have it to quack you know but it just seemed really funny it's like one of the many things that happened to this guy if it's not that it's him talking about you know skinning well, his animals. family said he was brilliant he was with it and then i guess after the worm in his brain he changed well the other commentary was with with uh rfk jr is that he's supposed to be he's in trump's campaign right so you're supposed to be a spokesperson for the campaign well they asked him and he said no kamala kamala won the debate and these these commentators were stunned they were going how can you say that when you're in trump's campaign and they said on top of that he's eating animals right and left and killing you know skinning whales and meanwhile trump is going on about cats and dogs i mean the whole thing is just crazy because he wouldn't be the most logical person, right? To be right. Well, that's why Trump turned so fiercely against Lindsay, because Lindsay said, "Oh, he needs to fire everybody on his debate team because he obviously lost that." Well, Trump didn't appreciate it, but he's not talking trash about JFK. Or yeah, RFK. no, at least <clears throat> at least not so far. I think what you were referring to though, was that I did look at uh, the charts of, you know, when you talk about assassination attempts and things like that, you can spot in astrology, you'll see periods where it's not like you look for the 
precise thing. That's a fool's errand. Sometimes it'll be like that, but a lot of the time it's more like you're in a swath that lasts quite a while and you're vulnerable and you have to be very careful. And that happened to uh, John F. Kennedy in, this, in 1963 and to some extent to RFK Sr. His was more, more um, the, uh, the brother, RFK Sr., the father of the current guy. Uh-huh. His is more really graphic, you know, what happened to him in, in June of 1968. That's, the, that's why I brought it, I put it in an astrology class to show, yeah, look, I mean, look at all the coincidences of planets lining up, you know, in all kinds of ways that suggest. Was, when you look at them, though, was it a bigger picture than what, it doesn't feel like someone just decided to do this. This feels like a big event, like some big energy was on them. CIA, if I don't know, but it feels Russia, whatever. The, these assassinations feel like they were planted, like they were something that they always knew they were going to do, mafia or whatever. This wasn't just some guy, uh, Oswald, decided he was going to shoot the president and that was it. They made a story on him and they killed him, just like they did that guy who tried to assassinate, uh, what she never intended, uh, Trump. Well, that, that, see, that's another, then you have to dig even deeper to do things like, okay, so you spot the, uh, you spot the all the angles and then maybe you link it to, is there a house where you can connect the Secret Service or something like the yeah. CIA? But it becomes quite a bit more tricky to do that with any yeah. certainty than to say, okay, look, you're in dangerous territory here. Stay out of trouble. Well, you know what breaks my heart is all those pictures of Trump on the plane with all those highly classified documents. And guess who's standing with him? The Secret Service. They knew he was stealing those documents. Yeah, but the Secret Service, though, it's a little bit like the way they are. It's a little bit like the White House lawyer. Remember Cipollone, how reluctant he was to say what was on his mind because he was, you know, be on the tip of his tongue. He wanted to say Trump is a thieving crook, you know, horrible person, but he can't because he's a lawyer. So he would check himself, you know, and the Secret Service, they're supposed to be, you know, protecting the president's life and the president's everything. So it's almost like a break in protocol. It's like when one army person rats out another, they're not supposed to do that. Well, they take don't take an oath to the Constitution to protect the United States of America. I think they do, but I, I, I think they'd be reluctant. I mean, unless maybe later someone writes a book or something, but I haven't seen too much activity from the Secret Service. Oh, no, or maybe they, they, they got rid of emails and text you know, messages. By the way, they had, yeah, a lot of them liked Trump. That guy that left, who was part of that whole thing, because that, that's what you can't necessarily control. I mean, how do you know that a branch might like someone more, even though, I mean, yeah, if they were honest, they'd be saying, this guy is brutal, he's, he's horrible, you know, but that's what they were doing. Okay. Anthony, wasn't what was the guy's name? The one that uh, uh, was outed by uh, Cassidy Hutchinson, Tony something. I can't remember oh, his name right did now. Did he finally step down, by the way? No, I think he just left to protect himself. But oh, okay. he he left. Uh, he's not there anymore. From he and like pretty soon after he came out, he left. No, notice how nobody's talked about Cassidy. How, what happened to her? Uh, well, it's probably good that they're not because. When you're in the, in her position, you really have to be pretty, pretty courageous because what the MAGA people do to you, you know, is is uh, is is pretty bad. So, yeah. So she's so. probably secure and batten down the hatch till all this blows over. Yeah. You almost feel like announcing, you know, in in the current American culture, she should, if you know, if they're bothering her, she should say, "Well, I bought an AR-15," you know so I can protect myself for the, for the time being because I'm hearing too many people. Well, you know, and and uh, uh, Liz Cheney, I'm sure she's, you know, there's a gun family. I'm sure they, they have money. They can hire their own secret service, sort of their own people. Their own security. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that, that's the, that's the part about Trump that, you know, one hopes that this experience with his, with his beast brings about meaningful change on all kinds of levels because the thing that he's most revealed it's a little bit like you know when you maybe this has happened to you we we got a an alarm system for for our place about 20 years ago because someone broke in so you kind of oh, you know we need to do it so then 
or like I remember with, I had a car where I it was broken in two or three times and I finally thought, you're not saving any money doing this. You save money by getting an alarm system because then they'll stop doing it. <laughs> and sure enough, it didn't happen again, right? Yeah. So Trump has figured out the weaknesses in the system because like he, he didn't show his taxes and he's doing all these things that are really horrible and they should be changed, you know, so that yeah. in future there's people are more reluctant, even if the Supreme Court is saying things like, well, you should have immunity for this or for that. You got to make sure it doesn't happen because it's it's just horrible, you know, when people right. like this have this. I've fortunately thing. never been broke in, but I've got cameras inside, outside, and I've got guns too. I well, just wish someone would try to break in. <laughs> I also got a big can of doggy poo that I can lay all nice. If I see them coming, I can lay it all nice in wherever door they're going to try to get in. I know. I'm remembering your chart. You have a, you have. Oh yeah, you're you know, gonna do a little birthday read for me. Yes, 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 yes. You have a, a really. You have obviously plenty of nice energy, but you do have Mars conjunct Pluto, and that's yeah, that's Mars conjunct Pluto. <laughs> that's John McEnroe energy. <laughs> Stay oh, away okay. from that. As yeah, a no. matter of fact, between you and me, <laughs> uh, there's a friend I've known over forty years, and uh, something happened. And it's kind of a repeat of, of stuff that's been going on. And uh, I just called it and buried it. I was shocked at myself. I said, you know what? And I wasn't mean about it though. I just said, you know, I'm, I'm a little tired of this and uh, God bless you and I'm moving on. Yeah, no, it, 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 Mars Pluto is pretty ruthless. And, and it's, uh, it's- But uh, I don't have any guilty or anything, I feel not even relieved. I just don't feel nothing. Well, I mean, there are things, you know, this is the thing, right, that you, a lot of people spot this in themselves. I, I, I can draw a graph of my life to when I used to feel guilty about things that today I think, what were you feeling guilty about? Dude, that was just that was just your mind. Someone told you something. You should feel guilty about this. No, I shouldn't. No. Like, no. For example, for example, this thing where, you know, before you realize what's happening, remember like someone would call you on the phone and using a deep voice, you know, like sounding like a cop, they're trying to sell you something and you don't want to buy it, but you feel like you got to buy it because he's yeah. saying that you should buy it. And if, you know, I can remember feeling really not happy saying, no, oh, I don't think I really want it today. I would say, I don't want that. And if they ask me again, I'll tell them which part of this do you not understand Then I might even just hang up. Like, yeah. There, if I don't want to talk to you, if it's if I know it's a sale, often now I don't even pick up. You know, I right. completely cut off the call. But should I feel guilty? No, I I don't feel guilty. I don't want that, and that's it. End of story. But depending on the protocol you follow, you should feel guilty. I I say no, and You're I. You're not even you. trying to make them feel bad. The thing is, sometimes with these sales people, they try to make you feel like you've got to listen to them. Exactly. This, by the way, in astrology is is getting your Saturn in order because. Saturn is the rules we all agree on, right? So it'd be like, okay, so for example, Saturn would be, there's a traffic light somewhere, right? Which is like a way to say, red light stop, green light go, respect that. So you don't, okay. But you, I bet you've done, have you in the past crossed, done any jaywalking once in a while? Hell yeah. Okay, well, there, I bet you there are people who think that that shouldn't be done, which it shouldn't. But I'll admit that, I've done it and I don't think, oh, I've done something bad. No, I, no. I've broken a rule, but I don't cross, I don't cross over r lights mostly because I get a ticket. Okay. I'll admit it. Right. Yeah. You don't that, want that, to. That's yeah, the reason. So, to. but all of that is like, it's playing tricks with your mind. The Saturn is what part of you feels guilt, shame, right? But you and this is, world. and this is where you see, by the way, that Trump is completely shameless and in oh, a way, no, he doesn't feel at all. No, now in a way, it's an asset because feeling shameless and when you're you're shameless, you don't worry about anything. But it's also dangerous because you'll probably go too far. So you're always trying to get that sense of okay, where is the limit here? Which is what Saturn is. Saturn is draw proper limits, right? How far do I go? What should I feel bad about? Like for example, a good example of feeling bad in a better way, let's say, is if you thought someone were is for some reason hurting, you know, helping them is a good thing. You know, it's, it's good to feel a little bit of, okay, maybe I can step in there and not just ignore them. That would be 
a positive thing, right? Right, that exactly. You would, where you'd want to feel it, you know, rather than... Yeah, I mean, I normally didn't have any problem walking buck naked down the street, but they always pulled me over. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's an even better explanation. <laughs> That's an even better I explanation. I have a problem, and I'm always eating a double ice cream cone. <laughs> That's an even better explanation. And I'm thinking they want, they just want my ice cream is what they want. Now yeah. I'm thinking like Loomer. <laughs> like Loomer, yeah. Like Loomer, uh, yeah. So she's it's, a Gemini, just like him. Yeah, she's a Gemini. And I don't think, the sense I got from looking at her chart is I don't think she's going to be as damaged by all this as... I personally like she's got a following of equally insane Crazy people. people yeah uh my feeling is that she'll hurt trump but but she herself is unlikely to be all that tarnished by any of this because it didn't look all that terrible to me right. but you know being gemini it's still it's still somewhat of a problem much like okay so mtg is another gemini you know gemini right now yes. Cyrus and when and I heard that BJ rumor, I almost thought somebody like MJB start MJB, MTG started it. Like some person that knows them started this fake rumor just to cause an upset. Yeah, yeah, I know. And you know, the thing with Gemini is if you think about it, it'll be common as a theme because Gemini is the talking, selling, communicating sign. And all these Geminis, they always think they have the best speech, they can talk their way out of anything. That's what Trump does all day long. He always thinks, you know, he, remember when he was in the first administration, he wanted to go talk to Mueller. And the lawyers were saying to him, you go talk to Mueller and you're going to be in an orange jumpsuit. But he thought he could go there and do his Please thing. Like yeah, so, and, and uh, Loomer and MTG, I mean, MTG, that's another one. Gaspacho police, you know, things that make no sense. She is totally confident in Congress, starts saying nonsense you know and then she gets called what was it bleach blonde butch body by the the texas lady and all that but the point being that that sense that i can sell anything right and right. also talking messaging and you know that's powerful in politics it's true it's true and uh, so mike johnson have you taken a look see at him i i didn't look at his chart uh, but he's another one that i my feeling i don't know what you feel about this but I don't think he's going to be all that damaged by his, you know, his stint as a house person because, uh, well, put it this way. He's, he's already going to be damaged when Jack Smith comes because he was a big part of the January. Yeah, but not, a, not in the, not in 2024. In 2024, no. later, yes, possibly, yes. But in 2024, he is um, um, like what's happening now with the, the, the budget and all that he's almost certain to he'll go with the democrats and you know if he needs to pass because the, they there are a few maga people that are saying no he already did it before partly because they can't afford to do it so i think he'll skate into the yeah because the i feel period. more even the maga people can't afford even if trump says i demand that you don't come to a conclusion here they have their own constituents they can't afford to lose their seat yeah, and and I I don't know how that really helps. I think if I know Trump has, has said it that he he should shut down the government. Yeah, I don't know. I think that if you shut down the government between now and November, you lose votes. You don't get yeah. them because that gives the Democrats a, another chance to say these people aren't interested in governance. You know, you so, guys are getting paid. They're shutting you down extremely unlikely you know that that, that would that happen. was a big part of why trump didn't win again too remember he said i'm shutting down the government he told pelosi blame it on me yeah shutting it down and he did and then he finally had it say open it back up but he was the one that did that and i think people didn't forget a lot 500 and then he said all the servants civil servants or the government workers Mm -hmm. Don't give them their 2% cost of living. Can you imagine saying, don't, a president saying, yeah, don't give them their 2%, like, yeah, they don't deserve it. What? It's a lousy 2%? No, it's absolutely true. Yeah, I remember you're talking about in in early 2018, right? And that's when yeah. that happened. 
Yeah, so that was, see, that's an example. That's that infamous part of his chart called the Access Hollywood T. So what happened in early 2018 was he got it into, he's always had this dream, I'm going to shut down the government and he shut it down and he had to open it because after, I think, it, I don't remember, but it took a while and then it started to become more and more unpopular. But then after that, it led into the Michael Cohen fiasco when Michael Cohen broke ranks with him because Michael Cohen was raided and then he, you know, he uh, told the truth. And at first, Trump was saying, oh, that's an attack on our country and all this. And then he realized, oh, this guy is against me. So then he started calling him a rat and all the rest. But all of that is also led into 2018, led into the midterms and why they, they went so poorly. You know, because in 2018, remember that was the, now. remember the uh, blue wave came into the house, right? Which, yeah, when they were all screaming red wave. Yeah, don't you remember that that in the after the election in 2018, when they lost the house, there was a press conference where he almost got into a fight with his CNN guy, Jim Acosta, because the guy kept asking him questions and Trump was fuming and fuming and he walked away from the, from the, you know, the lectern thing. He walked away uh, screaming because Acosta was provoking him too much. He was really angry because they had lost uh, badly, right? That's the area of the chart that... Oh, he doesn't like to be reminded what he did wrong. Yeah, no, of course. No, everything he does is perfect. I mean, that's the thing, right? He won the yeah. debate, 90 to 10. He... He, he said in, in, a, in a, one of his truth things today, he said that, um, how did he call himself? Uh, extraordinarily smart or extraordinarily, some story about, again, blowing his horn in a major way, uh, describing why, you know, uh, they, according to him, the, the, the uh, ABC is being investigated, more lies, they're being investigated for the debate the way they treated him because it was three against one lie. yeah you know see the thing is that this is the logic too uh when you lie like that in your bubble you're okay but 68 million people saw this so they're gonna say that's not what happened we saw what happened they asked you you know questions it was a were... good debate and they they said sir that did not happen but he yeah. didn't say should have said her, her, but she didn't say anything that was untruthful. Well, they, they, someone said they could have asked her something, but see, this is the thing. I mean, it's like the relativity of things, right? She might have said something a little off. He was saying crazy things, monstrous things. So they said, no, you can't kill a baby. That's not true. And not we talked to them. We talked to the, you know, the mayor of the, and he said, there's no, no yeah, pets are being eaten. Yeah. Yeah, because it's bizarro. So you, in a way, you can't fact check everything. You fact check the really well, bad porta potty like stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. but when you were talking to us for all these years, so weird that we're only what two months away from getting the answer, even less than that, huh? Yeah, less than two months away. Anyway, when you were talking about Trump, I always remember you saying the aspects come September. October of 2024. Do you remember that? How bad it looked? Um, I'm not specifically, I mean, I've said so much over the years. You were always saying, I know it looks like he gets away with murder. He always has this thing where things slide off of him. And then the first time you told us this will start changes was when he started getting indicted. You mm. said he's not going to get away with it. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing with him is that, is that, in August of 23, that's when there was a major change in his chart. The ascendant progressed into a different sign. And there was this build up and build up of like all the planets, all of them are doing something challenging, including Jupiter, the one that some astrologers think is providing some big help, which by the way, we're going to see next month because Jupiter is going to do a dead stop and it's going to be on Kamala's ascendant and it's going to be opposing his moon. It's not quite a conjoining, it's opposing his moon, which I say is not a good thing, unless you want to tell me, oh, he's really talking now, he's saying even more. Yeah, he's going to say all kinds of things. That's what he does. He yaps all the time. But as far as things going well, no, no, absolutely not. And, and you know, I could go further. I mean, you probably remember, do you remember 2016? What went through your mind? Because through my mind, when this guy was coming in, my perception was he's just signed his own demise. This is the worst thing that could have happened to him because he is so unsuited to this. He's going to make things worse for himself. 
and whatever he thinks he's gaining, eventually it's going to be a total disaster. Yeah. That's what I thought in 2016. That's what, you know, my perception around it was by also looking at his planets and I couldn't see, you know, the waves stopping. It's like being in the ocean and there's, there's one yeah. wave and another wave. He, he just can't get out of it. And he is one of the worst people I've ever seen for always making things go worse than they need to by the way he behaves, right? Because the instant he gets any kind of break, a good aspect, he immediately thinks, oh, it's okay now. And he starts doing something again to hurt himself. Right, and he could do that when he ran his little, what you call show, circus show. Oh yeah, that's a, but, it's a but, different thing. But what he did is he went in as a talk show host. Yeah. And with no experience. And, and what I loved about Kamala was that she said, what did she say? You were supposed to be this billionaire who's filed bankruptcy six times. And yeah. you see his face he always makes. Yeah, well, I mean, see, that's the thing, right? Now, there are people who say that he will have to debate. Scaramucci is convinced that he'll have no option but debate one more time. Because she's going to go flying through the roof in the poles? She's already going up. There. Well, even, even if she doesn't fly to the roof, if she gets anywhere near the roof, he's got a problem. He's got a debate. But that's really risky, really, really risky, because Kamala's too smart for this guy. You know, one of the reasons is, you know, by the way, any person out there, I'm saying this to the whole world, if you're debating a prosecutor, even if it's not Kamala, you probably should be careful. You know, people yeah. like that are trained to ask you questions and to, the, to respond, you know, accordingly. How many times do you think Kamala was in court and maybe the witness had something insane like, Oh, you're such a B this or you know, she's not going to reply to that. She has to have discipline and continue with the case because she's got to convince the jury, you know, so she's been, she's, a, she's not, it's not a new rodeo to her. She knows what That's, to do. You know, you're so right on that because she's even aware that she has an audience looking at her. Yeah, precisely. Like a yeah. jury. She doesn't want the jury to think she's a, a flaming mean, you know, she's trying to act like, oh, obviously you're confused. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, uh, about Kamala, we've said this before, it's in her chart. Kamala is a definite, definite alpha female. She's alpha 100%. She's a, she has a dominant um, pattern in her personality. So in the last debate, she wouldn't, he wouldn't look at her. Okay, that's the worst thing that a dominant male can do. But by the way, if he turns around to look at her, don't expect her to look away. She'll look straight at him still and say, you're nothing but a sleazebag. Maybe not quite that bad, but... You know, like how she said, you're but, a disgrace. Didn't you love it how she walked up to him and said her name, Kamala Harris? And she yeah, was sure, sure. And, and, you know, then apparently, I don't know if you saw that exchange, by the way, that there's there are rumors about what happened, but he went up to shake her hand at, at the memorial. Yeah. And you, you see her, you see him pulling on her and she pulls away from him. Yeah, you know, he like, was grabbed both and he was trying to... And yeah, but when, he, when you go like this, you can see the arm going the other way because Kamala didn't want to be, you know... And Biden wouldn't look, he just looked straight ahead. Yeah, no, I know. Biden was right there and he never glanced. He probably could smell him. He would not glance his way. He kind of looked down towards Kamala, but he wouldn't look at him. Yeah, you, you kind of wonder, you know what? I know that in a way this is all lots of gossip, but in a way it's where you hear the real, you know, the real story, like that, that famous line where George W. Bush, you heard that one when he, when the, at the inauguration in 2016, and after the inauguration ended, he turned to, to uh, uh, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, and he said, "That was some weird bleep." <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. So I mean, things like that are are just. Well, awesome, Michael but, Schmidt, know. the guy that wrote the first tell-all book that was with Trump backstage at the, uh, and he talked about uh, his daughter, Ivanka, talking like a sailor. She She's F-word, F-bomb, this and that. She comes off so sweet. He said she was shocked. She was like a sailor. Anyway, you, mean Michael, you mean Wolf, right? Michael Wolf. Or, oh, Michael or the, Wolf. Yes, yeah, yeah, the guy that wrote that book. He, they gave him access. See, that's the other thing, is Trump that way, he's so hungry for... Attention. Attention. He will bring in, you know, it's like the Trojan horse, you know, right in front of your eyes, bring in the enemy. So this guy was sitting around the White House gathering evidence. And then he wrote this, this, uh, you know, 
basically and he was furious because it made him piece. look bad. Yeah. But uh, yeah. he said he wanted to do his thing on his book, The Art of the Deal. He didn't want to use a Bible. Well, that, I mean, that, it doesn't surprise me. You know, he, there's very little at this stage, based on what he's doing, how it's just that fire hose of falsehoods, inventions, malevolence. Because you know, this thing with the Haitian immigrants, this is not a joke. These people are people are die. in danger. You know, they they could be hurt because of him. You know, and then they reply, they say things like, "Well, yeah, but." It was the Democrats' fault that someone tried to kill him. What do you mean? The guy that tried to kill you was a registered Republican. He was looking for anyone to attack. Why are you blaming uh, the Democrats for this? You know, but they always, they always talk double talk. You yeah. just can't get them on, a, on the truth. Their idea of making things happen is to cheat and lie. Yeah, I mean, it's they never bad. would say may the best man win. Never. No, 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 not at all. No, and 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 the 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 fact that JD too is is encouraging more of this talk yeah. he's saying that they should amplify it and you know keep people uh on edge but see that's the other and thing the too, department that... of justice is calling the the uh the uh, january 6th is going to be a big event just like with the super bowl and everything they're going to make it where you got double amount of security well i was going to say that part of what's going on is that one of the aspects is that it's harming his his career angle through this behavior of his with you know agitating and all that. But on January sixth, did you see that that there they they showed that there would be a huge police presence, you know, with yeah. their shields and everything. So that's the thing. I mean, you can pull a stunt like that off once, but uh, this is much harder now. Not to mention that this whole thing he's going to incite his people to violence, right? But they don't seem to be that willing. No, listen, he, when he got arrested no. himself, he said, come out, defend me. He told people, please do it. The most yeah. he got was at Mar-a-Lago. What did he get? About 10 people. And and they didn't even let them use their toilets. Yeah, I mean, this is what's really the Supreme Court. It's pretty shameless what they did because it's remarkable that he could talk to that Jeffrey Clark character who was that Clark guy was telling him that the election was lost because of thermostats and because of Italian satellites. Okay, where's the evidence? No evidence, no nothing. Just pull it out of whatever, you know where. And you can't use that in court because oh. he can, he can, you know, he could order, he could tell, uh, he could order an assassination attempt through the, through the Justice Department. They might not follow him, but how do you know? You know, it, yeah. it's completely shameless. And I the mean, Kraken, they and and Giuliani, they had these outrageous things that they said. But he was so desperate to win, he held on to it. Yeah, but by the way, where is Giuliani now? You know, Giuliani. The, the last thing I saw of Giuliani, he was at the RNC, falling into a, a bunch of chairs. He was really drunk, and he clearly they don't want him around, right? Because, no, he's a bad look so, for them. So he's he's a, a disappearing act. And he, among many, now now he's got he's got the old guard there, Lewandowski, and people like that, and, and all these other you know people like uh, Loomer and and Cusinelli, people like that. It's never a good plan because you 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 get a certain a certain improvement somewhere. There's too much risk, you know. Of, no, of and then rebounding. you see they're going to be down there with the military. I wouldn't even doubt doubt if they bring in a bunch of tanks. To, I I just wouldn't doubt it. And, but they're not going to do anything. There, there is militias in certain groups, like in the backwoods of Tennessee and stuff, but they don't have enough to be able to fight it. No, although I still, I don't know what you're sensing, but the to me, the, the pattern in November, it does suggest that it takes a while to, you know, to certify. Like it won't be, it'll be happy, obviously, but it won't be, Resolved right away. He's probably going to throw it in Somebody's court. Somebody's going to try to throw a wrench, and maybe Johnson will. Yeah, or or Trump just putting cases in court and you know things like that because he still now he hopes that if he can appeal it all the way, all the way to the Supreme Court, maybe they'll do something, right? But I don't see them doing anything because I think they know their days are numbered. She's going to win by a large enough that they know that they they're going to end up all being sliced. 
Mm, well, that's 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 my prayer. You know that it that it's like that. It's just that because there's a Saturn station in November. You know, I'm being cautious about saying to people, you know, November fifth. That's it. But I, November fifth, no. though. Yeah, I think still, until the but, certification in January, that there'll be some back and forth stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want people to worry. No, no, I, I, I no. Look, I mean, that, the bottom line is, to me, the bottom line on this is. Just compare the two. Hers is much better. His, I don't think he could win against anybody with a chart like this. You know? I mean, I, I know that, see, you can't do this. You can't do coulda, woulda, shoulda. We don't know because Biden isn't running. But Biden would have if he had kept. It's just that it's, I think it is better that it's Kamala. It is because yeah. if Kamala is elected on her own, that's a historic thing that will really leave an imprint. She did it on her own. You know, she didn't inherit it from him, right? Yeah. And it is interesting that right now the American chart is on a new moon this year, like it's every 30 years. So the last new moon was when uh, Bill and Hillary were uh, back in like 93, 94. He got another term. Like every new moon that the U.S. has had going back more than 100 years, there was always a progressive administration. Oh, okay. about. Oh, that's uh, good news. JFK. Yeah, no, I mean, it, but this matches like the uh, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, those three signs when Saturn goes through there, plus the new moon, because they kind of go together. It always has been progressive administrations, Beautiful. right? So, Beautiful. you know, it, it's there. Well, my friend, we've been over an hour, I guess. Well, that was fun as usual. All right. Wait, it flies by, I swear to God. So you're I taking know. a little holiday. I am. Yeah, I'm so taking we'll a little holiday. You. We'll catch you in October. Yeah, early October, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Cheers.